Welcome back to class. Thank you to our new subscribers. And if you're seeing this and you've not, you're not yet subscribed, please click on the subscription button. I always do my best to always drop very detailed tutorials for our beginners. So thank you so much for always coming back. Now this class will be on how to draft our basic trouser block and how to get our pencil trouser. So see you in class. All right, guys, welcome to class. Now I'll start by drawing my reference line of two inches at the top of our paper. After drawing a reference line, we'll still, we'll still draw a reference line from our side of 2 inches. reference line at the top which becomes our waist and this is our side okay me by two inches now the next thing we we'll put down is our our ankle length our full and our floor length I'm adding three inches I'm adding three inches to my full length. So I'm putting down my ankle length, which is 42, my floor length 44, and my aiming allowance is 47. I'll connect the lines. So as you can see, I have my ankle length, my floor length, and 3 inches for my aiming allowance. Now, the next thing we'll be needing will be dividing our round hip divided by 4. My round hip divided by 4 is 11.1. Now, I'm bringing down 11.1 on our waist, from our side to our waist. From our side, I'm bringing it down 11.1 and I'll bring it down also 11.1. I'll also bring it down 11.1 and we'll connect. From this reference line that we drew. So we'll have our 11.1. You're bringing down 11.1. We are also bringing down 11.1. Just to be sure.
So I'll be connecting them. Eleven point one. So this is it. This is our block shape. This is our block shape. Now we are will be coming up by two inches. My rule is two inches. I'll be raising it up by two inches. We are taking this in step by step so you would understand it very well. Now, this becomes our hip line. This is because of our crotch depth. This becomes our hip. Hip line. Then we got our crotch. Crotch line. Now, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be dividing our round hip by 20 and round hip divided by 20 my round hip divided by 20 my round hip is 44.5 when divided by 20 you get 2.25 so i'll be extending our crotch depth by 2.25 and we'll extend Now we've extended our we've extended it by 2.25. Now we would be needing our knee measurement. My knee measurement is 24. So I'll be bringing down 24. Start with 11.1. So I'm bringing down 24. So this is our knee our knee, a knee line, our ankle, this is our floor length, and this is our hemming and that one. All right. The next thing we'll be doing is our waist. Our round waist. My round waist divided by 4. My round waist is 33. Divided by 4 is 8.25. Now I'll be from here. I'll be taking 8.25 plus 1 inch for our dart allowance. So your round waist. Divided by four plus one inch for your dart allowance, which is nine point two five. Nine point two five. And I'll be, I'll use my curve rule. This is my hip curve to connect it to our hip point now I'll be coming up by half inch on our waist on our waist we extend it up 
by half inch. Now you divide whatever you have here. You are dividing whatever we have here by two. We divide what we have here by two. This is how our dart will sit. So I'll be taking half inch apart. And I'll be coming down by five by five inches and I'll connect my dart leg so this is our dart now the next thing we'll be doing is connecting this half inch to our dart leg I will explain from the beginning. Now, the first thing we did was to plot, was to rule our reference line at the top, which becomes our waistline. Our reference line at the top, which is our waistline. Now, the next thing we did was to rule our two inches, we went in by two inches at the side. So we ruled it down to the hem line. Now we brought down our ankle length from your waist to your ankle, the floor length and the hemming allowance. That's the full length of our trouser. The next thing we did was divide our the next thing we did was to divide our hip by four. And we brought it here. Hip divided by four, which gave us eleven point one. We brought down 11.1 here. We ruled it, we brought it down 11.1. We brought it down again, 11.1, just to get a block shape. Then we connected our points. Now we had to go up by two inches to get our hip points. It works for anybody. So you go up by two inches from your crotch depth. It is constant. Now, the next thing we did, after getting our hip, line, hip line and our crotch depth, we extended what we have. We divided by we divided our hip measurement, our round hip circumference. We divided by twenty. Divided our round hip circumference by twenty. Whatever you get, you extend on your crotch depth. We extended it. Mine was two point two five. Now the next thing we did was to get our round our hip knee point. Which mine was 24. I brought it down at my hip point, my knee point. Now, if you're not sure of your knee of your knee point, if you're not sure of your knee your knee points, what you will do is divide what you have from your waist to your M line, you divide it by two. So it, 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 it almost at my knee point. So it will give you your knee point. To give you your knee point when you divide it by two. So mine is almost. Now, after that, the next thing we did was to raise to con to divide our round that's what we did was to divide our round waist we divided our round waist by four and you you bring it down here at the side you you bring it down at the side your round waist divided by four and you connect it to your hip points you connect it to your hip points you just blend it up to your hip point please do not use too much curve while doing this connect it to your hip point and you raise it up by 0 0.5, 0 0.5 inch. You raise it up and you divide what you have on your waist. Divide your waist by two and you mark your dart leg. You bring it down to five inches. 
and you raise you this 0 0.5 you raise up you connect it to your middle dart leg that is where we are now to get our crease line to get our crease line you divide whatever you have here from your crotch extension from our this is our crotch extension from your crotch extension you divide it by two to so what you have you divide it by two and mark you bring it down so you're doing the same thing down you bring it down to your knee you're bringing it down to your knee and mark you bring it down to your hem to your ankle and also mark you bring it down to your hem allowance your hem point and mark So, you divide what you have from your crotch length to your crotch extension. You divide it by two. You bring whatever you get, you bring it to your knee, you bring it to your full length and your ankle, then you connect it with a straight line. So I brought it down to my M allowance, my hem point. Now, the next thing we'll be doing is on, on your hip point, you're coming out by 0 0.2. On our hip point, you come out. Now, this is our center front. You come out by 0 0.2. It will be a guide to guide you on where to curve from where your curve will stop. So we'll come out by 0 0.2. So I came out by 0 0.2. Now I'll be connecting. It will be touching our crotch extension with our curve, with our armhole curve. You will be touching our crotch extension, we'll be touching this 0 0.2 and we'll connect it back to the line. So connected our connected our core. Now we'll be dividing we'll be dividing our knee divided by two, our ankle divided by two, our floor length divided by two. We'll be dividing our knee, our round knee by two. How 
to now if you want to know how to measure for your knee to measure for your knee to get your measurement for your knee you tell your client to tilt forward see you tilt like forward tilt forward like this like you bend your knee you bend your knee and you you're going to you're going to be checking the round knee exactly like this you check your round knee the person's round knee if you don't want it to be tight because it's not supposed to, of course it's not supposed to be tight so we we'll have 17 when the person tilts forward a bit so it shouldn't be too tight now I have 17.5 17.5 to so make sure that it is free when the person is wearing it I have 18 I have 17.5 okay so now you divide whatever you get for your round here by four and you put it on the two sides of your knee of our crease line you're putting your three now have 4.3 We have 4.3. We have I'll be connecting I'll be connecting it our 4.3 from our 4.3 I'll be connecting to our crotch depth as you can see I'm not using this very curvy part connected it now the next thing I'll be doing is connecting this part to our crotch extension this other side of the knee I'll be connecting it to our crotch extension doing the same thing without using so much curve So this is it so far. Now what I did was to divide my round knee by four and I pla I placed the what I got, my points, on both sides of our knee. Then I'm, I connected from this other side to our coach extension without using so much curve. And I did the same thing for this other side, I connected to our crotch extension. Now, this brings us to whether you're making a pencil trouser or a straight trouser. If you're making a pencil um, a straight trouser, what you have to do is bring down whatever you have on your knee. You still bring it down to your hem allowance, to your hem point, your floor length. You bring it down to your floor length. But if you're making a pencil trouser, if you're making a pencil trouser, you have to check 
your round ankle divided by you have to use your round ankle divided by four now let me show you how to take measurements for your round ankle if you're making a pencil trouser you will need your round ankle now this is my ankle You tell your you, someone to take this measurement. Do not take it on your by yourself. Now, I'm just I'm not supposed to put my leg on the chair, but I'm doing it just so you can see me clearly. Now, the person that will be taking your measurement, this is how it to be, to the side. This is our ankle, eleven. But you tell me what you have to do is. You try to pass your tape as if you're taking out your trouser. So you try, you tilt your leg like this. You see what I'm doing? You tilt your leg and try to. Oops. See what I'm doing? You tilt your leg a little bit and try to pull off the tape as if you're putting on your. So this is what you do. So this is what you do. You try to take off your. I see if you're taking off your tr your trouser. Try it, do some, you do it like this. See if you're taking it off. So we have 13.5. We have 13.5. Now our round ankle is 13. Our round ankle is 13.5. We should be dividing by 4. So we, we've divided our round ankle, our round ankle by four. We have three point three. Now you're bringing in the three point three on both sides of our ankle, of our ankle point. Put down your three point three. You bring it down three point three and three point three. So 3.3 and 3.3, you do the same thing. So 3.3. Three. So with your long groove, we are using our long groove. With our long groove, we'll be connecting to our knee point. To connect to our knee, whatever we have on our knee. We are connecting it down. I'll be doing the same thing. What you have after bringing it down this is it this is what we have after bringing down our measurements now for this trouser I me I want a straight trouser I don't want a pencil trouser now for a straight trouser I'm bringing down whatever I have on my knee. I'll bring it down to our hem point, our floor length. I'm bringing down whatever I have on my knee straight down. So because I want a straight trouser, I don't want a pencil trouser. So what we have here is 4.3. I'm bringing down 4.3 on this length.
so. So with our straight through, we'll just connect it straight to the point we have on our knee. So you see that it is straight. So after doing this, now this is what we have. This is what we have. This is the straight trouser, and this inner one is a pencil trouser. Now I do not want a pencil trouser. What I want is a straight trouser. So I'm using the straight trousers. Now, this is it. We are done with the front of our trouser. This is the front of our trouser. Now we'll move on to the back. The back will be drawn on the same pattern, but you will be tracing it out with your tracing wheel. So the next thing now to get our, our to get our back trouser. This trouser will be having pockets. So I'll be showing you how to add a pocket to your trouser. Now to get our back our back trouser, the back of our trouser. You come in by one inch. You are coming in from here. You come in from this is your crotch depth by one inch. And you'll be coming in from the waist. You're coming in from the waist by two inches. And you extend it. You extend it by 1.5 so i'll be coming in by one inch i'm coming in by one inch and i'll be coming in at the waist by two inches and I'll be coming up. Okay, let me refresh. So this is it. You slant your knee. You extend your line up. Now the next thing you will do is. You get, you will glue down your 1.5. This is our 1.5. So to get our back, I came out by from, I came out by one inch and I came out at the waist by two inches and I extended by 1.5. You are still raising, you are still raising the side by half inch. Now the next thing you will be doing, you will be checking whatever you have, whatever you have on, you will be checking your round waist divided by four plus one inch. Remember we have 9.25. So from here, I'll be coming, I'll be coming, I'll check my 9.25, whatever I have from here, 9.25, which gave us here, 9.25. Now, I'll be coming up by half inch.
so I connected to my waist divided by my round width divided by four plus one inch for our dart. So which gave us somewhere we need your room to check. We have 9.2, which gave us somewhere here. 9.2 here. So this is our 9.2. Now I'll be dividing whatever I have here. We divide by two. We have 9.2. So I'll be dividing it by two, which is here. And I'll be coming down by five inches. So I'll be coming down by five inches. And I will connect whatever I have here. I'll be connecting to our dart leg. So this is our back, this is our back that, and this is our front that. This is our back waist. Now, you'll be checking, you'll be checking whatever you have for your hip. You, you check your round hip divided by four. From this place that we came in by one inch, make sure you have your round hip divided by four, as, like exact points you're supposed to have. So I'll be checking whatever I have here. My round hip is 7.5. I'll bring it down to our crotch depth, 11.1. I'll bring it down 11.1. So I'll bring it down with our, I'll connect it. So I've connected with 11.1. Now I will use our hip cord. I use our hip cord to connect our waistline. I will join our waistline to our hip line. connected it. Now, the next thing you will do is to divide, we'll be dividing our round hip by 10. You remember for the front, we divided our round hip by 20. Now for the back, we'll be dividing our round hip by 10. So my round hip divided by 10 will give me 4.5. So my round hip divided by 4 my round hip divided by 10 will give me 4.45. I'll round it up to be 4.5. So now what I will do is to extend whatever I have at my crotch extension. I will extend from this our point. I'm getting 4.5. Then I'll bring it down 4.5. So this is it, 4.5. And whatever I have here, I'm coming out by 0 0.5 on the knee. And 
I'll use I'll use our uh, our hover and connect the lines. I'll see come out here by 0 0.25 and I'll connect. And I will connect whatever we have. I'll connect it. So this is our back. I've connected it back to our porch extension. Now, for the side, we are coming out by on our knee. Please make sure you blend your knee. So it, will, it, will, it should not be curved, curvy. Let it just be, let it be straight. Now you're coming out by 0 0.5 at the knee. Five. And if it, I can't use this, let me use a straight one. On the shop. So so I came out by half inch, half inch on this side. I'll still come out by half inch at the end point that our, our floor length. I'll be coming out by half inch for our back. I did the same thing, half inch, half inch. I'll be doing the same thing on the hem. So this is our true line. I'll be coming out by half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, and we'll connect it to we we'll connect it to our knee. I'm connecting it to our knee. How to get our straight trouser and our pencil trouser. Now the next thing I'll be doing is to trace it out on another paper. That's you're tracing out the back of our trouser to another paper. We'll be needing our tracing wheel. This is called a tracing wheel. You need to trace out. So next, what I did is I added, I placed a plain paper under, and I put my main pattern on it. Now we'll be tracing out the back.
after tracing it out, I'm trying to I'm trying to trace out the lines like with my marker. I'm trying to rule out the lines that I traced. I'll be cutting out both the front and the back. Then I'll show you how to how to get your pocket, your pocket bag and your pocket facing. Alright, I finished tracing the um, the front and the back out because I didn't want to cut out the, this will be my master pattern for other trouser classes. I have to trace out both the front and the back. This is our back and this is our front. You will see that the back is bigger than the front. So I'll be keeping this aside. Alright, so I'll be taking out the back while we work on the front. Now for the front, to, we want to get our pockets, our pocket facing and our pocket bag. For our pocket, to get your pocket, now this is our pocket facing. To get your pocket facing, you know, there are people that their hands are big, that has bigger arm, and there are people that have smaller arm. Now, what you will do is, I like to use, you can use 2.5 or 3 inches depending on how big or small your hand is or how you like it to be. So I'll be using, I'll be using 3 inches. Then you come down by 7 inches. 3 inches on the waist and you come down and you come down by seven inches now it depends on what you want if you want your pocket facing to be a little bit curvy or if you want it to be straight you can do straight or you can do you can it, it can be a little bit curvy i like it to have a little bit of curve so i'll use my curve rule to do this So this is the shape I want. Now to get your pocket bag. You see this thing is so easy. To get your pocket bag. From there you can take, you take three inches. From our pocket facing, you take, you're taking three inches. And here you'll be coming down by four inches. Then you roll on it with a straight line, you connect. Just through your straight line. And connect it up. You can use your curve room to do this to get a good shape, like a good curve. Or you can use your free hand to do that. You can use your free hand to do it. You can do something like this. So I use my free hand to do this to get a fine curve. So this is just it. What we have to do is we are tracing out, we will trace it out to a plain paper. 
But when we are cutting, we'll be cutting out the pocket facing alone. This is how it will be. All right? This is how it will be. So we trace this out to a two, like two paper. I'll be tracing it out. I'll be cutting two of these. I'll be cutting them two with the pocket with the full pocket and two without the pocket facing. Guys, thank you very much. We've come to the end of the class. And we'll be using the other pattern, the main the master pattern, to do other trouser alterations how to get other trousers, type other trousers or trousers. So, this one is for a pencil, uh, this one is for a straight trouser. And we also learned how to achieve your pencil trouser with this. So our next class will be on bell bottom trouser. Our next class will be on bell bottom trouser. Thank you so much for always coming back. I love you guys and remain blessed. Have a fruitful week. Bye.